still think it'd be fun to do a big group in seven days to die someday. It's just sadly, I don't think my uh yeah times don't line up really too well. Well, I I just need to. It would just be another thing I'd have to plan to do with people, and I'm already like trying to like work with like Caitlin and Lee with mm-hmm. Thorium, and then we can finally do Calamity with them and Blair. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that one's gonna be really hard to coordinate time on. <laughs> for me, it's fine because I'm I'm like basically jobless for the three months. Okay. Or basically, I don't have to do anything for the three months. Tomorrow, school begins again for me, and then I'll have school yeah. and work. <laughs> Ain't that the way? <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> hey, August, dude. We can do the <laughs> definitive test with my new player model in <laughs> Gmod. And see if your presence breaks the game. Uh, you remember? Do you remember the Doom Three uh, swept mod? The Doom Three. Uh, yeah. What about him? I made a, a C hand version, and uh, oh, it's my it's. Your modding skills are becoming unparalleled. I, it uses the uh, original mod as a base, so I didn't code anything, but uh, but. Uh, uh, yeah, it's my most popular what? add-on ever. Why is there a no clothes Mail 07 most popular add-on? <laughs> I, I saw that. I sent that to Wyatt. I was like, look at this. It's, it's handsome. He never <laughs> responded to me because he's speechless. It's... Me, he's speechless. I haven't heard from Wyatt in a while. Yeah, I haven't either. I mean, I, I he's he's made he's made a few comments here. He was one of the f- 17 ratings, four stars, Tyler. 3,000 yeah. unique visitors. Oh, he's huge. He's big in the world. <laughs> and I want to give that a thumbs up and an award. And 1,900 guy, take subscribers. My points. Yeah. yeah, here I have my points. Take see, home. Let me look at I three. have 353,000 points. Why do I have so many? <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Now I can <clears throat> buy more avatar frames. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wyatt is the yeah. third comment on, the, uh, on this add-on. You get sea hands. You get sea hands. You get sea hands. <laughs> yeah. Get some terrible. Anyways, yeah. We'll see if I ever update it with how busy I'm going to be. Um, let me see here. Two people pointed out, and this is true on the original add-on as well, that the chain gun is sideways on your world model. Yeah, I was just reading uh, that. And the shells and the double barrel shotgun are backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. I saw, every time I see the reload on that, I, I was like, man, he's putting the red, like the red is facing towards us. <laughs> There's no like shell or primer. He's just firing red, red blobs. Yeah, I, I looked um, on actual Doom 3 footage too, and the shells are the right way. Uh, and so so it's um the person who originally ported the weapons uh i don't know what they did but uh they accidentally ported it with the shells facing the wrong way <laughs> but it should be easy enough to fix when i have time <laughs> i like how other people are asking why like, somebody's like any chance of dopey's alpha shocking getting support in the mix too <laughs> like they're like they're like complimenting your, your c hand capabilities <laughs> yeah it is nice I did look at the shotgun that the person is talking about, and it does look kind of neater than the normal Doom 3 shotgun. I I honestly don't know what the Doom 3 shotgun, what shotgun it's supposed to look like, oh, yeah. or if it's just supposed to look like a weird shotgun. I don't know. All right. <laughs> this is the shotgun that person is talking about. Oh, that. I do like this one more than the default shotgun. It does look uh, nice. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I haven't actually worked on the mod in a long time. Uh, I, I can't remember why. I think I just didn't want to get pictures and videos ready. <laughs> I was like, because I, I, cause I... Wait, for what? The the, mod, the Doom 3 swaps with C-Hands mod. Um, oh. I, I've had it on my computer for months. <laughs> um, in its completed state. And Are you just, just sitting there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think one reason why I didn't uh, upload it was I was going to make an an alternate chain gun uh, what, version where your hands are off screen again. Because um, cause, uh, the, the, the chain gun in Doom 3 normally, it, uh, 
you don't see your hands at all. And you know? on mine, I added a hand on that little <laughs> handle part. Um, and I, I, the only reason why I even did the chain gun to begin with was just so that it would work with the V-Manip stuff. You know what I'm surprised about? Oh, wait, there is. <laughs> I was about to say, I was surprised that there's no Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal weapons, but there is an, act, there is an actual pack for it. Oh, yep. I used it a long time ago. I don't anymore. Um, someone also made a C-Hand version. It's got the Dreadmaker, or whatever it's called. Key? Maybe? I don't remember it. The super special secret weapon that's garbage compared to the BFG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, man, oh, I wonder what my cool special reward is for doing all those super, those super <laughs> gates. Get that stupid thing. I was like, oh, man, maybe it's super strong. And I try to use it. And I'm like, man, this thing's garbage. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd rather have the BFG. <laughs> a weapon that does do that a weapon that you have to aim that does high damage or a weapon that you don't need to aim at all that instantly kills whatever it links to <laughs> that auto aim is pretty much <laughs> <laughs> or do you want to use this one it's super cool and looking but you have to aim it and it also spreads out like a shotgun <laughs> like well, well what's the point yeah i don't know what the deal is with that weapon <laughs> It's basically, you can see on one of the pictures, the green hair version has, I think that's a green tie and green outlined other stuff. I can't put that green outline on uh, a, on the uh, on a skin that has different colored hair. Like it's tied to that that uh I, I can't mix and match the the, the clothing colors. That, that that's all there is. To so if I look at the red one. It's the red. It's a red outline. See, I think Stop. the red. I think the red one actually is. Is it red? I can't. Oh no, the red one's like. I think it's uh, yellow. Mute color. I can't really tell. Yeah, the, the the lighting. The lighting in that hallway is a. Why'd uh, you choose that hallway? <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. So the the red haired version has yellow outlined clothes. The green has. I think that's also green, and the uh, multicolored is white. I I can make it mix and match if I made the uh, different outlined jack uh, clothes a separate model, but then that would be adding a lot more to the model and make it more unstable. And I'm All right, afraid... so you're gonna make my play model next, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unless. Uh, when's your birthday? Twenty <laughs> second of January. Uh, oh. Four months from now, actually. Oh yeah. For some reason, my brain thought it was early in the year. I was like, "Oh, long away." It right? is early in the year. <laughs> no, no, currently. Oh. I was like, "Oh, January is a long way away," and uh, no, it isn't. It is four months away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gavin actually want. Uh, he has a model he wants me to help him with. Um, it's just doing this is very time consuming. Like, oh, screw even, him, do mine first. <laughs> I don't care that much. Even I just use whatever. Even though I've gotten a lot better at porting player models, um, it's uh, it uh, it it takes a lot of time, especially if something messes up. Orienting the bones correctly uh, is annoying sometimes. I feel I, like the bones would be like the main problem. Yeah. yeah. I remember one time looking at the bones and like the the nodes for like certain player models. And the hair, the hair has so <laughs> many bones. Yeah, and like half of them are jiggle bones too. Yeah, yeah this one was no exception. The hair. Um, the Gary's mod. I, I'm really happy with Gary's mod. It has the bone limit upped. Um, I don't know what the limit is, but it's it's quite a lot higher. Nor the normal uh, or in Source Engine, the normal limit is 128, and this player model has like 200. <laughs> And it's because of the hair. Yeah, it's because of the hair. That's where I typically see the most bones. Yeah. yeah. It, and... it sounds weird to say, hey, why do you have so many bones in your hair? Well... <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of Don't Starve. It's just the way they work. You remember... Uh... Oh, yeah, Don't Starve. <laughs> remember getting hit by lightning, you see bones in your skirt and your oh, clothes yeah, yeah. and your There's hair. Everywhere in you. <laughs> Getting your haircut must be a nightmare. 
But yeah, but remember when we played that game and we totally beat it every time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ruins but roguelike? Who would want that? <laughs> <laughs> Gary from Eve. I thought you were about to say Gary from Gary's mod. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out a fist gun. Wuma. I liked this survivor. Wuma, what about my loadouts? <laughs> no, it's it's a survivor mod I found for Don't Starve Together. I'll believe it. It was like a <laughs> it's like a static person. I thought it looked neat. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, that's actually really cool looking. Yeah. Neat. Wuma's sanity bar has been replaced with a presence bar. Yeah, uh, like a lot, like a lot of these. Uh, I don't know what it is about the. Uh, uh, Chinese players of Don't Starve, but man, they make some crazy survivors. They make some crazy survivors, yeah. Like, I'm looking at this whole description thing, and I'm like, uh, the survivor looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> then you look, at the, you look at the description. <laughs> so all I've been able to gather is that they look cool. <laughs> that, that's all that's in my mind right now. Here's their 50-page essay. <laughs> On how this character works, some of the some of the characters you just look at it. And it's like, what am I reading? Make sure to remember all five hundred states that your character can be in. Uh, make sure to remember your seventeen mute skill cut skill binds as well. <laughs> I just want a character that looks. Remember really to good. get a second keyboard for all the bindings that you'll need. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure to pull your gamer mouse that has a whole numpad on the side of it. <laughs> I have uh, so looked, I have properly. I have tried looking up mouses with more buttons. Um because I do kind of like the side buttons on my mouse and I have wondered, man, I wish I had like I kind of do wish I had like a few more buttons. And I they're either in they're, the the mice I find are either just as simple as the one I currently have or way too complex. This mouse is as big as your entire hand. <laughs> it's like uh, I don't think I want that. <laughs> This mouse has a ball on it. It's like, why would I want that? Why would I want that? <laughs> this mouse can uh, turn into a car. <laughs> <laughs> it also has nine buttons <laughs> and a keyboard inside. <laughs> inside. <laughs> Miniature keyboard to press with your fingernails. Uh, Otherwise, you'll fat finger every single button. <laughs> <laughs> we give you like a spike in order to press these buttons. Uh, I hope you're really good at the knife game because you're going to have to do it in between your hands while you play. <laughs> yeah, it's for your left hand. You bring it over to your to your mouse that your right hand is holding. Make sure you uh, yeah, pinpoint it right in between your fingers. And it does have to be sharp with how small the keyboard is. Anyways, I actually... I, I do uh, like the idea of of, or kind of like the idea of helping you guys make your own player models if you want someday. Um, since that would just be robbery. <laughs> yeah, you. I w one thing though. Um, one thing though that I don't have a lot of practice on is actually weight painting <laughs> player models. Um, Gosh you know? dang it! You know what I hate? What? Wuma is like almost exactly how I would imagine a character that I would want <laughs> in terms of like outfit aesthetic. Yeah, I do think that they look pretty I think cool. that'd be a really cool character. I do have other characters that I've been looking at too. I might uh, I might do those ones instead if uh, we'll see here. Also, the hair is short, which is nice. Yeah, short hair. Which means I don't have to worry about hair clipping. That was something I always disliked in Gary's mod is I hate when hair clips. Which is why I was kind of glad I found the current one I'm using. One, it has pants. <laughs> Two, it's got non-clipping. Because there's no hair long enough to clip. Yeah, the player mod lab is actually really neat. The hair is positioned in such a way where it's like even if, even if it's moving around, it kind of doesn't uh, clip into the body. And it's actually like how it's dangling like my arms don't even clip into the hair that much i need to take a closer look just to make sure the mod is actually functional and not like abandoned and has bugs but i do i do like gary mod? from eeb oh gary man screw gary 
It's a. Uh, it's also just what I need: a simple character that has simple stat changes. <laughs> Finally, me a, a, a character a... that has five different skill buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a character I don't need to think about much, which it is good because cool, Gary himself doesn't oh think about much. Oh my gosh! Why do I have to read a five-page essay for Wuma? <laughs> I'm gonna read it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I read it at some point, and I still don't. I stay. Low presence will not trigger hallucinations, so she does not hallucinate. No shadow, no shadow demons. It's like a really good supportive character, oddly enough. All right. Uh, but in order to get your presence back, you have to stab. You have to stab someone <laughs> with <laughs> with a screwdriver that deals one damage, and it only restores one presence every time she stabs someone. I'm the only one near you, and your presence is low. I need someone to stab. Uh. <laughs> it's it's a infinite durability weapon that deals one damage. At least don't stab my face. <laughs> when she's dead, though, she can paralyze clockworks. For 10 seconds and those guys literally can't do anything and you just wail on them <laughs> oh i need to kill the clockworks die for me <laughs> uh, okay yeah <laughs> by the way i found a mod for terraria that replaces the blood moon music with uh this song from iron lung and by this song i mean like the only song the only song in iron lung yeah it's kind of quite chilling oh yeah that would be way better for a blood moon than whatever it currently is <laughs> yeah i I, I thought I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's horrifying. <laughs> Honestly, if you ever did want to make a model for me, Wuma. Wuma is cute. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, <laughs> and you could add, you could add like any color you want to her and so she's not actually static and mobile. <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, making models yeah. from scratch is something I have uh, little experience in. <laughs> uh, Wuma. I don't think I actually. I'm not sure if I ever showed you it, but I did, I did for the first time ever a while ago, yeah. uh, make this from scratch. This model was made completely from scratch or with a tutorial. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, wow. Look at him go. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I would need to like follow the tutorial again and make more simple stuff before I ever make something as beautiful <laughs> as Wuma. <laughs> to hide your goal. So that's the longest term goal. I will make you suffer. <laughs> okay. Then. One thing I thought would be rock. neat is to recreate the membrane family from Invader Zim. Invade these Zim's dog. Oh, 